Hey guys, it's Nate from The Star Dog, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tag video 50 facts about me. So stay tuned. Falling out again, I was walking back upstairs when I heard my sister scream. Oh, it seemed a little louder than I'd planned. So Alright, guys, so a couple of days ago, I reached a small milestone in my YouTube life. I hit 2,500 subscribers. And I'm pretty stoked. So I wanted to do a little video just to say a big thank you to all my old subscribers and my new subscribers. And so you guys could learn a little bit more about me, I thought I would do a tag video. So yes, 50 facts about me tag. So these were the first 50 things I could think of straight off the bat. It took me about 20 minutes, half an hour to come up with, you know, something uh, kind of decent enough to, to tell you guys about me. But, um... Let's just get started. So because there's 50 facts, I actually wrote it down, word, full, like printed it off and shit. So here it is here. So I am going to be looking down, so I'm going to be reading them straight off the paper. Alright, number one. And I'm probably going to put uh, this side. Probably going to put up the numbers there, so just so we know where we are. Straight into it, guys. I am uh, one of four children. I have three sisters. I'm the only boy. I am ABC. If you don't know what that means, that's Australian born Chinese. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is I really like to travel. Um, I've traveled every single year since I was 19. So, done a fair bit of traveling. I enjoy like experiencing new things, new cultures. And yeah, I really just, you know, I've just always had the travel bug. So yeah, I really like and really enjoy traveling. Okay, so after the last fact, um, this one's pretty funny. I, I'm actually a little bit afraid of flying. And every single time, like, we're, f like, taking off or landing, I have this fear that we're going to crash and I'm going to die. It's kind of sadistic. I just, it's kind of weird. Like, I, I literally just close my eyes every time I land and uh, we take off. Currently, um, I have studied four diplomas. I don't think I'm going to study again just because I'm getting older now and my brain isn't really functioning and isn't really good for studying. So I never went to university. Um, all my diplomas that I've done have been either through TAFE, which is like a tertiary education, or um, a private college. When I was 20, I got braces. Um, after I went to the States um, the first time, or oh, second time, sorry, I noticed that everyone had like really white and straight teeth and I was like, man, I want that. So I got back and like literally, I think, Three weeks later, I had braces. So I had them on for a year and a half. No, a year and three months, exactly. Uh, the orthodontist um, said a year and three three months, and literally on the day, a year and three months later, I got them off. So my teeth weren't really that bad, but, you know, I just, I got braces, so, meh. I wear contact lenses um, because my vision is shite. Uh, I wear glasses um, every now and then, like before, in, like, before I go to bed and in the mornings, but generally uh, I like to wear contacts just because of, I don't know, I just, I find it weird like being like going out and, and having glasses on or like going to the gym and having glasses on, it's just weird. So um, I wear contact lenses most of the time. Uh, I'm a, I, I like arguments or like I call them, um, what do I call them? I call them civil confrontations I like. Um, I think it's important to kind of be challenged every now and then and I really do like talking to other people and seeing their point of view but at the same time sharing my point of view. If I do drink alcohol, um, I will typically drink like a rum. It doesn't really matter if it's dark or white. So like, you know, I drink Cardi, Havana Club or I drink like, you know, Bundy rum which is, yeah, it's Aussie. So Angry Rummo. What up? Yeah, so I, I really used to like Converse Chuck Taylors like when I was younger and I literally had 20 plus pairs um, that I would just buy and some of them I still to this day haven't even worn and they're just sitting downstairs like in boxes. I like to work out. Um, it's something that I have been doing for probably the last 10 years. I used to be a personal trainer. It's just something that I kind of try to incorporate in my everyday life. Um, and if I don't do it, I honestly, I feel, I don't feel right. Next one's pretty funny. <laughs> when I was in primary school, I was in the choir uh, because apparently I had an angelic voice. So yeah, I apparently had a good voice. No longer, I think maybe because I hit puberty or something, probably. This is so boring, but yeah, I'm allergic to penicillin. I don't know if anyone else is. If you are, comment. I don't actually know what happens to me if 
I do have penicillin, but I do know that that's the only thing I'm allergic to. I used to have both my nipples pierced. Um, not at the same time. I had my right one first, and then I took that one out because I kept getting it caught on my bag. And then I had my, my left one done, and uh, I took that out after about a year. But yeah, um, nipple piercings, seriously, they're so hard to um, heal, and I just I got over it. So yeah, I took them out. Oh, this is funny, because everyone thinks because I'm Asian, I'm really good at like math and uh, computer games, but I am shit at both. I, I literally, I'm really, really bad at math, and video games are not my forte. I don't know why, I just, it's like I miss out on that genetic thing. But yeah, I, I, I just can't, I'm, I'm really bad at both. Oh, if you've been watching my channel, you obviously know that I am in a long distance relationship. Uh, my girlfriend Kat lives in Germany. I live in Sydney, Australia, so right now, I'm in a long distance relationship. Yeah, I have a traditional Thai tattoo on my left foot. I um, got it probably about four years ago. Uh, it's the, the one where they get like a piece of bamboo with like four needles and they, you know, da -da 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 -da, they kind of dot it through. Um, yeah, I, I kind of sometimes forget about it and it's not until someone else kind of notices it or says like, what's, what's that on your foot? And then I'll be like, oh yeah, I, you know. Um, Traditional tie tattoos don't hurt anywhere near as much as a conventional tattoo. With I used to have a, a little koi fish called Agro. I had, I had a fish tank and um, I had about four or five fish in there. And I bought this 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 koi and because uh, I've got a koi tattoo on my leg. And I thought, okay, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool because it's like the same coloration and all that. And he was like, seriously, like the craziest fish in there and he would like terrorize the other one. So I ended up calling him Agro. And then he got too big and was like, I'd have to clean the tank like every three days because he was just a dirty bastard. So I ended up giving him back to the pet shop and I didn't flush him. I did the good thing. I put him back, I gave him back to the pet shop where I bought him and they'll, they'll like keen to take him back and I don't know where he is today. It's kind of sad, but yeah, I wonder how he is. Oh, when I was about 16, I was out at a club and I won one of the first Nokia camera phones. Um, this was actually a pretty funny story, like these guys from a uh, radio station came in and they were doing this like, uh, you know, competition where you had to do something that was weird but interesting and uh, I won a camera phone because I could make like a three leaf clover with my tongue. Yeah, like that. So I won a camera phone f by being able to do that. So big ups to anyone else that can do that. Comment if you can because apparently not many people can do it. I have many useless talents, guys. I find, I think I have many useless talents. Um, and you're wondering what I can do. Okay, well, one, that three-leaf clover thing with my tongue, that's a useless talent. I can spin books on my hands, um, as well as obviously basketball, just inanimate objects I can usually spin on my fingers. I can kind of beatbox. I can handstand if you follow me on Instagram. What else can I do? Um, I can juggle. I mean, that's yeah, kind of useless. But I'm actually make a video about all of them sometime. I'm gonna do that. Be on the lookout for a, a useless things that I can do video. Um, I just said it in the last one, but I do handstands. Like when I travel, I try to do handstands in front of like really cool things. So if you if you follow me on Instagram or you want to check it out, go follow my Instagram, the Style Dog. I've got plenty of photos of me doing handstands around the world. Um, I think it just kind of spices the photo up and it's kind of just a funny thing that I've adopted now So I do it everywhere I go. I like to dance uh, when I go out to clubs I'm not one of those guys that can just stands there. I, I'm generally the kind of guy that you look at and go the fuck? Yeah, I like to dance and um, apparently I dance like a stripper. So mm, I've actually been asked a couple of times as well if I am one I'm not. If I had a dog, I would either get a French Bulldog or a sausage dog. I don't know, for some reason, I just really find these two dogs really cute. I'm right-handed. So for all you right-handed people out there, up the right-handed people. I need to have a shower in the morning. Now, I need to have a shower in the morning to start my day. Um, it's just one of those like things that I have to do. Like, if I get up in the morning, don't have a shower, I just don't feel right. I, um, I hate horror films. Um, <laughs> Reason being, I think it's because I've got like a really like active imagination and like, yeah, I'll watch the movie, but then literally for like two or three weeks after, like I scare the shit out of myself because like I keep thinking about that movie or like, you know, I, I become like overly sensitive to like noises and stuff and like, 
you know, start checking like the back seat of my car, like when I get in it. And yeah, I just end up freaking myself out. So horror films, I'm a comedy person. I love comedy. Comedy is the shit. Like, have a laugh. Don't scare yourself. Pookless. Oh, this, the next one I'm pretty proud of. Um, I am really, really scared of heights. Like, I am talking about if I go to the mall, I look over the edge and it's like three stories higher, like I get vertigo. Um, but I went skydiving. So, fucking big ups to me. I, um, I went skydiving probably like, I think it's like five years ago now. Um, there was a big group of us. Kind of got peer pressured into doing it and was thinking like, if I'm going to do it once in my life, like this is the time to do it with 20 other people. But yeah, and I ended up really enjoying it. Um, it's kind of like, it's so high that it's not high, if you get me. Like, it's kind of like looking at the floor, like, because you're so high. It's 14,000 feet. Did it out in Wollongong. Uh, it was really cool. So I definitely recommend doing it, even if you're scared of heights. It's just something, you know, to add to the bucket list or to tick off the bucket list, sorry. Next one, I've been to Disneyland three times. I definitely think everyone should visit Disneyland once in their life. It's seriously the happiest place on earth, as many people have said. It's so cool. Uh, yeah, last... Last one being on the, on the most recent trip to um, Paris that I went to. I must say though, I, I actually do really like the one in Anaheim better in California. But don't hate me for saying that. I drive a Toyota Corolla, fully stock rims. They're not even rims, they're hubcaps. I haven't done anything to it. It's just got everything stock. CD player stock, rims stock, exhaust stock. I'm not really a car person. I've never really been a car person, but you know, it's good, it's uh, reliable, got me, you know, it's 2007 model, what up? Speaking about cars, I do drive a manual, because I'm a manly man, uh -huh. I love watch. Uh, I love watching animal documentaries, like honestly, like ever since I was a kid, I mean I used to obviously watch Crocodile Hunter, because he was Australian, and um, I love watching animal documentaries, they're so cool, I love those like, you know, those South African safari ones, and you see like, you know, the cheetahs chasing the, you know, the antelope and, uh, antelope? Yeah, antelope, or something, some kind of animal, you know, I love those kind of things, the crocodiles and the niles and the zebras and shit. I think a lot of people are in the same boat with this one, I find stupid shit funny. So, I think my sense of humour, like, <clears throat> if I see someone fall over, I'm gonna laugh. Um, not because I'm a bastard, but because it's just funny. You know what I mean? Like, that is the kind of humour that really triggers me. Like, I see someone fall and I laugh. And everyone else... Unless they're hurt. Uh, when 50 Cent's uh, first album came out, I think it might have been his first. I don't know which one it was. I literally listened to that damn thing for, like, six months straight. Like, I knew all the words, all his songs. It was just stuck in my CD player. And I'd be driving around. Mm -mm. And I seriously... I loved that album. Like, I probably listen to that album more than any other album ever. Yeah, you know it. Uh, I can't play any musical instruments, but if I could, I would want to know how to play the guitar because you can take that with you, you can serenade people. Uh, it's just, you know, I don't know, something about, you know, when I see someone play a guitar, I just think it looks awesome, it sounds awesome. Okay, right now I'm 75 and a half kilos and I'm five foot eight. So I'm not really tall, I'm not really that short. I'm kind of, I think I'd say average height. So I, uh, one of my favorite things to eat when I go out is uh, sushi. I'm a massive sushi fan. Um, I eat all the raw shit. I'm not one of those people like, yeah, I eat sushi. And you're like, what do you eat? And you're like, avocado and rice. And you're like, yeah, okay, that's not really sushi. Um, I eat sushi, you know, all the raw stuff, uh, all the hot stuff, everything. You know, I've tried everything. Um, I don't hold back on that stuff. So even though, and I know I'm going to cop so much shit about this. Maybe not. Even though Miley Cyrus has been copying a lot of shit recently for her Wrecking Ball video, her twerking at the VMAs, I kind of really like Miley Cyrus. I don't know why. I just think she's just doing her thing. But yeah, I really like her. I don't get why everyone hates her so much. But yeah, go Miley. Yeah. Uh, my favourite movie of all time. I told you before I like comedies. My favourite movie is Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Jim Carrey, man, that shit, I, seriously, it's the best, like, I, I've got so many, like, lols from that movie, like, you know, even now when I think about it, like, it, it makes me smart. One of my favourite things to do to relax, um, being that fr I'm from, like, Sydney, Australia, like, it's a real beach culture, um, I like going to the beach to relax, or I really enjoy fishing. Um, fishing is just like one of those things you can just do and think about your life and or go with a friend and just have a chat and just chuck the line in. If you catch something, you catch something that's cool. If you don't, like, you know, you're just there for conversation. So it's just one of those things you do. But yeah, they're probably my 
two favorite things I love to do to relax. Apparently I have really crappy handwriting. I used to. So about 10 years ago, I had to start writing in capital letters, full caps, um, just because it made it easier for people, people to understand. I am a little bit addicted to Instagram. I'm not gonna lie about this one. Um, I just like the fact that you can just like, hash, you know, search up hashtags and like, you know, there's so much good stuff shared and I've found like so many cool things on there and, you know, it's just so addictive because it's in your palm and, you know, you try to go to sleep and you're there and you're da -da 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 -da, like, you know what I mean? It's just so easy. Um, I know like people watching are probably going to be in the same boat. They're also addicted. Like how good is it, right? Instagram. I'm addicted to it. Who isn't? If I could be any kind of anything I wanted like professionally or be famous at, I definitely want to be a musician. Uh, I've been working in the hospitality industry for the last 10 years. Heaps interesting, but I sleep on the left side of the bed. I honestly think that YouTube, not just saying this because this is a YouTube video, but like I honestly think YouTube is like the best thing ever. Um, I've learned seriously so much from that thing, whether it be about like fitness, uh, photography, um, you know, how to tie a tie up, um, you know, just random shit. Like anything you want to learn, you can find. It's just, how cool is that, right? I'm a Sagittarius. It's actually my birthday on the 12th of December. Okay, so this one's kind of interesting. This is the second last one, but I have two moles on my face. I think it's here, and I've got one here. Now, my mum and my dad both have one of each. So I think my mum has this one, and my dad has this mole here. How cool is that, right? That is a fucking amazing fact. All right, guys, so the last fact, just nice and simple. Um, I was thinking about how many hours I've been tattooed, and I've got, currently, I've got over 50 hours of tattooing done. Uh, I'm still looking to get more. I eventually want to get my whole back done, finish my sleeves off. Uh, but yeah, so over 50 hours of tattooing, which is, oh God, that seems like a long time and a lot of freaking money. But um, that's the video, guys. I hope you got to know a little bit more about me. Um, like I said before, thanks so much for subscribing. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.